Treatments for Adrenal Fatigue Hi, Dr. Mackey here from ProgressionHealth.com. In this presentation, I'm going to discuss treatments for adrenal fatigue. This can be a very complex problem, so it's important to be treated by a physician that is experienced and properly trained. First, lifestyle changes. Now, the foundational, most important aspect of improving and restoring adrenal function is proper glycemic regulation. This includes not only blood sugar control, but also proper insulin control. This can be done through making specific dietary changes, also making changes to meal timing as well. Stress management, usually it's a high level of stress or chronic level of stress over months and years that usually get, that got people to this point in the first place. So making some changes in, in some of those areas are, are critical. Exercise, now exercise can be important to restore adrenal function depending on the type, but more importantly, it's about minimizing or reducing the very high endurance, long distance, aggressive forms of cardiovascular exercise. This can deplete the body over time and create more and more adrenal fatigue. Improving sleep quality. Most people that are adrenal fatigued or adrenal exhausted don't sleep very well, so improving that sleep quality is going to be also a very foundational way to restoring adrenal gland function. Some nutrients that support adrenal glands are B vitamins, specifically vitamin B5, also known as pantothenic acid, biotin, phosphatidylserine, magnesium, vitamin C, and of course the mineral zinc. Some herbs that are very popular and important at restoring adrenal function include licorice root, which can be consumed as a tea, uh, as a capsule, even a tincture. Gins ginseng, there's a few different varieties of ginseng that are very good for improving adrenal gland function ashwagandha, and also holy basil. Some glandulars, which are actually adrenal gland extracts taken from either a bovine or a porcine source, are very important at improving adrenal function and can be life-changing in some cases. There are some hormones, pregnenolone, DHEA, uh, some blood work will actually show a, someone that has had a high level of stress over the years will show a low level of DHEA in a blood test. Uh, which, it, which correlates very well with low adrenal function. Also, if someone is suspected to have low adrenal function or adrenal fatigue, to have properly evaluate their thyroid because adrenal glands can cause, adrenal gland dysfunction can cause thyroid dysfunction and thyroid dysfunction can lead to adrenal gland dysfunction. So it's important to have that evaluation as well. And for severe cases, you can even use actual prescription forms of cortisol. Uh, this is called Cortif, which is a commercial product, and also from a compounding pharmacy, you can actually have hydrocortisone compounded as well. And these can be, again, very important uh, aspects for severe cases of adrenal fatigue. So some questions. Why doesn't my doctor know about adrenal fatigue? Well, for, for the most part, conventional medicine does not recognize adrenal fatigue as a true diagnosis. However, adrenal fatigue is very real and affects a very large portion of our society because of the high levels of stress. Unfortunately, uh, it is not recognized, uh, so many patients will uh, fall through the cracks and really either get prescribed something that doesn't really do much good or they just keep getting worse and worse over time. So if you think you have adrenal fatigue but you're not sure where to start, we have a couple of answers. First, you can visit our website. Uh, we have an adrenal fatigue progressive protocol that we've used with our patients for a number of years. Uh, with a great deal of success. That's one resource for you to check out right now. Uh, ProgressureHealth.com slash protocols. You'll see the Adrenal Fatigue Progressive Protocol there. Very simple, very easy. It's a great way to start restoring function. If you feel like you have a little bit more of a severe problem than that, you need a little bit more one-on-one -on -one help, you be, you're more than happy to set up a consult with uh, either myself or Dr. Davidson to find out how we can help. So again, visit our website at ProgressureHealth.com. For more information, you can visit our website at ProgressYourHealth.com.